Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So hopefully you guys have had a great day. I got so much accomplished again today. I literally don't even know what I got accomplished, but I feel like I got a ton accomplished. The one thing that I needed to get off of my to-do list, which really wasn't on my to-do list, it was something that I was super excited to do, was finishing my daughter's wedding invitations. So they were a labor of love, but I did 99% of them at the July retreat. So it was just the last little tidbits that I needed to add on to them. And she picked them up this afternoon and she's going to stuff the envelopes and get them in the mail. So that is something that is amazing and fun to do. I've, we have three daughters and I have been able to make all three of our daughters wedding invitations. So that is like a super honor for me to be, for them to want me to do it. And I told them today, I was like, I should probably try to make a business out of this, but I don't know if I'll do wedding invitations. I'll help you do wedding invitations, but I don't know if I want to take that burden on because it's a moment making sure everything is perfect and you want everything perfect for the special day. So that is something that I did get finished. So that was a huge accomplishment. And I told myself I was not going to open the new catalog stuff until I got my craft room cleaned up and tidied up and all of the things from card class on Saturday put away. And I did get all of that done. So I was able to play with some of the new things in the new holiday catalog and oh, they are so amazing. So tomorrow my to-do list before I go to work is to start getting the catalogs out in the mail. So if you definitely want a catalog, please send me a message or you can post it on the Facebook group. That is totally fine. I will probably mail out a lot of them. So I'm sure most of you will be getting them. But if I happen to miss you, definitely send me a message and I will get that out. So that is on my to-do list tomorrow. They won't all get out in the mail tomorrow, but I'm going to start the process um, of doing that. Good evening, Jessica. Welcome. So um, Jessica actually will know exactly the card we're doing today in tonight's live because we made it on Saturday in card class. I usually don't um, do something in a live that I just have done in a class, but... I don't know if many of you guys know that if you do place an order, you your card class is free. So if you place an order from the first, um, like the last two weeks of the month or the first two weeks of the month, whatever date that falls on, you will get that class for free as well. So I am going to be doing a, a card that we did in card class on Saturday, and I'm going to show you what else we did in class so you kind of get an idea of what card class is and what you can get in the mail if you do worse. So good evening, Heather. Welcome. Okay, let me point you over. So this is, oh, I forgot to open up my iPad. Hopefully I turned the volume down. I was um, on YouTube earlier today and needing help trying to find something. So let me get over. Sorry about that. Usually I have it up, but I was on my phone instead of doing my life stuff. Okay. So this is the set that I did in card class on Saturday. It is a page suite, so you get the stamp set, both of the punches, the bolt of ribbon, and the 6x6 six six designer series paper. I know I've used the paper um, in a couple of my other lives, but uh, I will definitely show you what I have left. I don't have much left. I have lots of little bits and pieces, so you can definitely get some more cards out of these. But it's so fun, it's so pretty, and we don't usually have a very vanilla background base per se and I like that this is very vanilla because I don't use it very often but with this you can use the basic white but this is primarily the very, the very vanilla and I brought in one of the colors uh, that we use and it's the Lost Lagoon and it actually matches the Lost Lagoon ribbon so let's get this out of the way and I will bring in the catalog. It is in your annual catalog. It's on page 94 and 95 of, um, of the annual one. So this is the page suite. It's on the left and you get everything that is on the right. Um, you can get things individually if you want to, but it is uh, kind of nice to have everything all together. So there's that. Let's bring in the card. Oh, before I show you the card. So 
actually, I'm not going to show you the card. I'm going to bring in the cards that we did, and then I'll show you the card we're going to be making. So I have to tell you kind of a funny little story. So last week before class, I was cleaning up the craft room, and my hip hit the side of the wall where I um, keep all of my embellishments. Well, everything fell to the floor, and I was quite irritated, and I was just going to throw everything away because 99% of it was retired. But then I was like, you know what? I bet some of these colors could still work for the colors we have now. So all of the embellishments on these cards are older, and they have retired, but I had plenty of them, and I was like, why throw them away when you can use them? So it doesn't always have to be current. If you have something that will work, you might as well use it. So these are some of the cards, these are the cards that we did in card class on Saturday. And I used that same um, Eaton title designer series paper on this one. And you make two of each card. So there's those two. Here is this one. And this is the set that I'm using in my exclusive class to go, but we did another version of it. And you make two of those. This one is um, a really cute thank you card with a little lemonade. I forget the name of the stamp set, but it's also in the annual catalog. And you got one in each of the colors. So you have Berry Burst and, uh, I just lost the name of it. Berry, uh, anyway, I forgot the name of that. But those are the two colors you get. Good evening, Monique, welcome. Okay, so now let's bring in the card that we're going to be making this evening. So I did do happy birthday. I always need happy birthday cards and I think 99% of us do. But there's also other sentiments you can do. There's hello friend, thank you, just a note, lots of love, and congratulations. So it's a very well-rounded stamp sense. So this is the card we're going to be doing. And I did put all of the measurements. <laughs> Blueberry bushel, yes, thank you. I knew it would come to me one sooner or later. So um, this, I did put the, the dimensions in before I went live, but I will go over them as well. So this is very vanilla, and it is five and a half by eight and a half, and I scored it right in half at four and a quarter. So we're gonna take that, fold it, and give it a good crease. Good evening, Beth, welcome. And I have, so you can pick whichever designer series paper you want to use. You can use either side of it. I love that it's double-sided. I'm going to stick with kind of the flower schemes. Um, and this is Lost Lagoon, and it's two and a quarter by five and a half. And our card, our designer series paper is two inches by five and a quarter. So they're very self-explanatory, very easy to um, put together. And if you need lots of them, it doesn't take any time at all to put these cards together. So I'm going to glue these to each other. And we're, I should have brought in another card base so I could do both of them at the same time since I'm gluing them at the same time. So there's those two. Before we put these onto the card base, I do have some um, extra ribbon. And I, let me get the measurement for you. It's not very long. It's three and a quarter inches long. I usually just fold it up to the edge and make sure that there's enough hanging off to be able to attach it. But this is three and a quarter if you want to get specific on the measurements. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue both ends to my mini glue dots. And when I pick it up, the mini glue dot are on both sides. I don't know, I sometimes do that. I think it's easier. I'm just going to wrap this around. Grab the other one. Even when you're doing um, in bulk, if you're doing an assembly line, it's nice to have the rivet or the dimensionals on both sides already. So there's that. And I do it with my ribbon as well. Sometimes I take a picture of it and then I forget to post it, but I'll have like a full sheet of bows attached to the mini glue dots. I think it looks so pretty. So that's gonna go there. That the set is so gorgeous. And I don't know if you were on when I said, but I love how it's the very vanilla. We don't have much very vanilla 
um, where you can use the card bases, and I love that about it. Okay, so let's bring in our card base before we attach that. So I'm going to open it up, and I want the right panel, the right side of the panel. So I'm going to take my lost lagoon, and I'm going to ink this up. And I'm going to stamp it directly on the card base. And if it hangs over a little bit, it's totally fine. I'm going to stamp that directly on. And I'm just going to leave the ink open and hope that I don't put my elbow in it. Because we are going to use it again. And now I can just go ahead and glue this down. And I just want to put a smidgen of glue right on the ribbon. And I am going to... It is going to go to the top and bottom, but I am going to leave a little smidgen on the edge. If I close it, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So there's that. And then I wanted to show you something kind of cool. I just got to find all my little parts and pieces. So I do have a piece of scrap of the Lost Lagoon, and I want to bring in the punch that coordinates with it. So I am going to punch one of them. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to punch out in very vanilla. I guess I could punch a couple of those so we can make a couple of the cards, but that's okay. Um, I only have these scissors beside me. I don't know what happened to my other ones. But I'm going to cut these points off because I want to layer this but I just want the little square. So I'm going to cut all of the corners off and get rid of the little pieces of shrapnel. I'm going to bring in my happy birthday. And I think this is the center of the flowers, but I used it as little doodads at the bottom of my happy birthday. So I'm just going to ink it up and come in and stamp right at the bottom. And this is where you can put your gems if you wanted to. I'm going to sprinkle them throughout the card, um, but you can definitely put the gems right in the center of those as well. So now when I put adhesive on the back of this, it's going to fit perfectly in that square. So it just has kind of like a little star behind it. It's pretty much the same way of just cutting the squares and offsetting it, but I think this is a little bit easier and looks the same, but a little easier, I guess. So now I'm going to put two dimensionals on the back. Oops. And now we can just set this right at the bottom. And I'm going to bring in some gems. Yes, I know we can't get them anymore, but if you're just joining, I am just trying to use up some stuff that I have. So, this matches perfectly. So there you go. That is how quick and easy these cards are to put together. And you're using up stuff that you have. And that's what I love. So I know it's monotonous and we're going to do this a couple times, so I know it's people have to go to feed their families or whatever. I totally get it. Oh, speaking of food. So Lucas and I went to Sprouts on Monday and they stopped selling my blue cheese burgers. I was so stinking sad. So I have had a craving for blue cheese burgers. So that's what Bo made me for dinner tonight. So we made our own version of the ones at Sprouts. They were so yummy. He's not a big blue cheese fan, but I am. So he took one for the team and ate it. So there we go. Let's grab our punch. I'll punch a couple of these out. Just so we don't have to keep them. Well, it's not gonna make it yet. Okay, there's three. And I forgot to mention that you can definitely use the center of this backing to cut this out as well. It will definitely fit. And nobody will ever know that you did it because we're covering it up with designer series paper. So there's 
So there's the piece, and then when you put this over it, it covers it, and nobody knows that you just chopped some pieces of this. And I would definitely use the paper snips and not these kind of scissors. They do the job, but probably not the best. I wonder where they went. Maybe they're still in my cart from retreat. Maybe I just haven't put them away yet. Okay. So there's those. I'm going to ink up. And I'm tucking the happy birthday up towards the top so I have a little bit more room at the bottom. And I like the little splatter. It makes it where it's not too naked. Technique. I'll bring the other punch in and show you what I'm talking about. You can cut the edges off of that as well to make them smaller. So while those are drying, I'll bring in this punch. And this is the same punch that goes with the sweets. And you can chop off where you just have the little banner edges. Just like that. And I did try to make, you can layer these. I know, I'm kind of all over the place. I wasn't expecting to do all of this, but I will. So you can layer these pieces together to create, I don't know, maybe a quilt. I don't know if that's how you would say it. But I saw it online, and I haven't tried to make it yet. Um, but all these pieces will line up. And if you have different color cardstock, it looks really cool. So that's what this set is intended to do, is to be able to make different designs. I should try that. I did try it at Retreat, and I think I got pulled away and never went back to it. But you can definitely Google it and find lots of amazing things with this set. I have a little too many on my finger. We only need one happy birthday. There's that. I'm gonna grab some gems. And does anybody still have these gems in their craft room? They are from a couple years ago. They were the old in colors. But I think it still matches. Still looks super cute. Okay, we'll put one more together. And then I will let everybody have their evening. And let's see, I sent an email out before I went live about the fall retreat. So that is coming up. Um, I did include in the Facebook Live before I went live about the bingo event. That is always fun. So there's just a couple things going on in the studio. So I just need to make sure to not get adhesive all over my workstation. I guess that's the only bad thing about cutting the center out. So just be careful. Don't talk while you're trying to do this, otherwise you're gonna forget. Oh, and I almost forgot the ribbon. Hold, let me find it. There we go. Let's put ribbon on before we put glue all over the place. Do you like do you like how I said don't talk while you're trying to do this? Otherwise you're gonna make a mistake and I almost did. Should probably take my own advice and stop talking. Ooh, that one's a little long, but that's okay. Nobody will ever know. But if I stop talking, it's a little weird on my ears. 
I don't know if it's weird on your guys' end if I stop talking, but I feel like I'm in a tunnel or something. And this piece will cover up the flowers just a little bit. There we go. Let's add our happy birthday. And let's do some of these rhinestones. So it's stuck. Oops, it's stuck to my finger. Not what it's supposed to do. I should probably get my take your pick tool and use it like it's supposed to instead of using my fingernail. That would probably be best. This little guy is going on here if he likes it or not. So there you go. That is how quick and easy these cards are to put together. And I was showcasing it because this is one of the cards that we did in card class on Saturday. And when you place an order, you do get the card class, the current card class for free. So this is one of the projects everybody is going to be getting that placed in order. And I've already texted everybody, so you guys will be getting them in the next few days. So here's the other ones that we did. And you always get two of each card. I started with that a few years ago when people were like, I don't want to give it away. It's so cute. And I'm like, okay, so now you can give one away and keep one for yourself. So that's why we do two of each. So there you go. Hopefully you guys had a great day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed tonight's live. I will be back on Thursday for another live. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be doing, but it is going to be super cute as usual. If you need anything, please feel free to reach out. If not, I will see everybody on Thursday. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.